Thank you for tuning in this episode of Channel Surfing. We're going to go over the top accessories that we use on Channel Surfing. If you've got a, uh, a favorite accessory of yours that you never leave the dock without on your boat, please leave that in the comment section below. Hey, if you've not had a chance to uh, check out ChannelSurfingCreations.com, um, head over there. Uh, Lazina actually makes tumblers like this and she can custom engrave the name of your boat with a picture of the boat on there. Um, she's also doing, you know, t-shirts and sweatshirts and um, dish towels, she does embroidery, she does uh, heat press stuff, she does mugs, um, you know, captain, first, you know, first mate kind of stuff. Um, all kinds of good swag for your boat. Get, uh, get some good personalized gear for your boat. Again, that's uh, channelsurfingcreations.com. Great way to help support the channel and stuff. Um, Lazina makes everything at home in our basement. She's all, all the gear. She doesn't outsource any of that stuff. So again, uh, we thank you for your support. So the first set of accessories has to do with power. So we use a lot of power in the boat, charging our camera phones, our cell phones, our laptops, tablets, etc. on their way. Or you can always go off the house battery um, as well, but oftentimes it's more convenient and uh, economical power-wise to pick up one of these uh, Anchor. This is a um, one of their newer and improved, I think it's a 24,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, it's got a little button on the side. We can show that right now it's charged to 100 percent it's got two usb c ports and a usb a port the reason i like is we bought two of these was this one battery will charge a laptop battery our macbook pros will completely charge the macbook pro battery the other thing is it's got a fast charging rate it's 140 watts it does require the cable that it comes with it's actually on the on the end of it It'll actually say max 140 right there. So, so the kit, not all, not all USB-C cables are created equal and not all, and therefore not all of them will charge at 140 watts. This, this cable comes with the battery specifically to get 140 watts of charging. Um, and the laptops can't charge at 140 watts, but most laptops, at least our MacBook Pros, they'll do 65 watts of charging. You know, so it uh, makes it a quicker charge. Um, and the, these batteries, because they're 140 watt charging, um, they only take a couple of hours. They go from empty to full. But you gotta be able to feed them 140 watts. So to do that, that's the second accessory that kind of goes with that. And that's this guy right here. This just plugs in, you know, it's got a couple outlets if you wanna plug your uh, laptop chargers up in there, but it's also got couple USB-C ports on the end, some USB-A ports. Um, it's got a little LED screen on it. It's hard to see in the sunlight here um, for that. But um, this will charge at 140 watts to one of these batteries. I can plug both batteries in and it'll it'll cut the wattage in half and charge each of them at half rate, which is still pretty fast. Um, so it makes it quick and easy to, to recharge them. Um, uh, you know, and Previous batteries that we've used over the years, you know, um, you know, they were in the 20,000 milliamp hour, which is which is pretty large, um, but they would take like 10, 12 hours to recharge, you know, not a couple of hours. So I uh, highly recommend them for the boat. It's a great way to keep all your all your uh, gadgets and stuff charged without having to tax your house battery bank and save that house battery bank for the anchor light and the radio and stuff like that on the boat. So this next accessory uh, was an interesting one. It's a combination. So. Um, being that we are a gasoline powered outboard boat, um, for heat, we have a diesel heater. It's a air top, it's a Wabasto air top STC 2000. Um, and as a result, we actually have a five gallon diesel tank on the boat specifically for the heater. We're Northwest edition and we use our heater quite a bit because we do boat year round. And the challenge has always been the location of the diesel tank to fill it. So gasoline is conveniently located right here, the back of the boat. Easy to pull up to the fuel dock on the starboard side, easy to, to gas up or whatever. However, then to put diesel in the diesel tank, it's on the starboard side. And the tank's right up there. So it's not real easy to get to. <laughs> Right, so um, I've always struggled with how do I, you know, if I'm at the dock, 
at the fuel dock and I have to run a hose from all the way over there all the way over here up over on under the fuel dock that usually doesn't work too well all right so what I ended up doing was I'd go to the fuel dock I'd, I'd more on the starboard side I'd put in 100 gallons of gas I'd cast the lines off I'd turn the boat around and then I would come and I would more on the port side and I'd go and put in three gallons of diesel and then I'd go pay right it was always a, you know do that two three four times a year um, never really liked doing that so um, when we did our Alaska trip I knew I was gonna be using a lot more of the diesel heat. We actually switched to kerosene. Air, kerosene is a pure is a pure form of diesel, uh, and it's fully supported by Boston and stuff. It burns cleaner. It has a longer shelf life. It doesn't smell like diesel. That's why we went to it. So, uh, and I actually found it's easier to to fill the diesel tank. So here's what I did. I picked up a blue five gallon jug, labeled kerosene, right there on the side, and. The secret sauce is this. That is an electric fuel pump powered by AA batteries that goes into the five gallon jug. So this makes it so much easier. I will say when you when you buy the jug, it's got a strainer inside it. Pull the strainer out because otherwise the pump doesn't work. Pump's got a pickup, goes in there. by four AA batteries. A little hose, and you turn it on. And you hear the pump running. So now, I don't have to moor on the port side at all. I'm gonna screw that. And this is how I fill the diesel tank now with kerosene. When I'm done, I stop the lever. Then, because I don't like to get fuel everywhere, turn the pump off. And then I just hold this above my head, and hold the valve in, lets air go all the way down in here. I just hold the valve in so it's closed, that way air goes in. And then the kerosene will fall out the bottom. Cat back in. And that's how I fill a kerosene tank now without having to be moored on the port side, without having to go to the fuel dock. Highly recommend this accessory. We used it a lot. You could do it at anchor. Um, you know, we used it a lot on our Southeast Alaska trip because we burnt a lot of kerosene in five weeks. One of my favorite accessories on the boat actually is a square cake. It's, uh, um, you want draft beer on the boat, it, the, the square keg fits perfect in the cockpit refrigerator. Uh, it holds two growlers worth, it's 128 ounces. Just take it down to the local bar, have it fill it up. Uh, it comes with these little CO2 cartridges um, to keep it uh, pressurized and stuff, so it pours, you know, and foams and stuff just like you want uh, draft beer to be. Um, really convenient, great, for, great accessory for the boat. Best boat upgrade ever, square keg. Now I'm going to have myself some draft beer on the boat. And I got a CO2 cartridge. Pressurize it to about two pounds. Vent it. Pressurize it to about five pounds. And it's party time. Draft beer on the boat. Uh, you can find Square Keg uh, listed on our Amazon affiliate page. Go to let's go to channelsurfing.com, click on shop Amazon affiliates, and it's under boat accessories.
Another accessory that we use on the boat is uh, for our clothing, right? So uh, we always bring a change of clothes and stuff, obviously, on the boat. Where do we store our clothes? So Lazina actually came up with a really great um, solution for this. You want to talk about that for a minute? For our clothes, I just take your packing cubes that you would put in your luggage for flying or going on a trip, and I put them along the edge of the V-berth. Just on the outboards. And I usually do, like, socks and underwear in the small one, if you're going on a big trip, and then shirts, and then one with pants and pajamas. For our Southeast Alaska trip, we were gone 55 days. How much uh, clothes did you pack that way? Uh, seven days worth. It was easy to find laundromats? Yeah, every seven days we were somewhere. So, and that was plenty for those little packing cubes? Yeah, yeah, that's probably the max that they can hold if you wear jeans and that yeah. sort. And being stored on the outboards in the V-berth makes it really easy to get to, and they don't take up any extra space. And, and they set up there, they don't fall. If they do, they fall in the V-berth right. when you're traveling. So. Yeah. Another favorite accessory of mine is my helm box right up here in the front. So... So the way the helm box came about was um, all these covers right here for the electronics. I needed a place, some place to put them. I didn't like just throwing them down in the V-berth and stuff, so I bought this helm box. I didn't screw it on or anything like that. I just used uh, this little Velcro, double-sided sticky tape. It just sticks down there. Um, it's a nice little wooden box. It looks kind of like teakish and stuff. Um, pretty inexpensive, and I keep the logbook in there. I keep maps and stuff in there. Um, usually a small screwdriver, flashlight, and then of course that's where I go and throw all the uh, electronic protective covers when we're on the way, so they don't uh, bounce around and stuff. Uh, and then because it's only about four inches tall, it doesn't block my view um, out the front of the boat. Right there. <clears throat> So that's what it would look like. A pretty great accessory to have. You can find it on our uh, Amazon affiliate link under boat accessories. If you go to letsgochannelsurfing.com, click on shop, Amazon affiliates, and then boat accessories. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.